Not sure how this Not sure how this is going to work out. If at all. It is 4.30 in the morning. I woke up choking and puking and gagging again. And I think it's because of this tube. There's a sore inside my throat. And this tube goes up my nose and down my throat and it rests against it. Sorry, I spit a lot. But I've had it with this tube. It's like I've had nothing but problems with it from day one. So it's my. So this thing is going to come out right now. I don't know if I'm going to get sick or gag or puke. If I do, I'll try to keep it off camera. See this right here? This is called a bridle. It used to go up my other nostril and come down and get tied on this clip. And a couple weeks ago, the bridle come off. So I taped this in place, the two, and went to the emergency room. And the emergency room said it was okay and sent me home. Well, I spent the next four or five or six days puking. Because this bridle was going up my nose and then back down my throat, basically hitting my gag reflexes. So after puking for four or five days, or however long it was, I finally pulled the bridle out and clipped it off. And I told the doctors at the last visit, this tube will come out when I'm ready for it to come out. Because there's no bridle holding it in place. The only thing holding it in place now is this tape. I'll take it out whenever I want. Well, I want. So here we go. There's some fresh hairs that grew on the side. It's kind of weird. The radiation has burnt basically all the whiskers off my face except for like where your sideburns are at. That's the only place where whiskers grow out of my face now. I'm a little nervous about this. I ain't gonna joke. This is do or die, because once I start taking it out, I can't put it back in. Sorry about that. This is going to be disgusting, but I got to show you this. 
Another reason why I wanted to take it out is I've been sneezing and coughing up blood. And I think it's because of that tube also. That end of that thing looks disgusting. The part that was in my stomach. Good thing you can't see it. Oh, a lot of blood in that one. I'll tell you what I noticed right off the bat was the sores out in my throat. It doesn't seem like it has any pressure on it now. So I think it was a tube that's causing me to choke and irritating my throat. Can you see? Whisker it only grow from here to here. <laughs> and only down to here. Down to about right here. Mm. Well. <clears throat> There's what it looks like. That sucker is out now. I look really old with no teeth and I've lost so much weight. The uh, doctors encouraged me. Hold on a minute. Let me put this back up here. Easier for me to talk when I don't have to hold on to the phone. Plus, I did that because I got a spit. <coughs> but the doctors have encouraged me to start trying to eat regular food. Apparently, your ability to swallow is kind of a use it or lose it type of situation. So if you go weeks without swallowing, which I've never done, I've had to swallow pills every day. And I get so much crap. Saliva is really, really thick. Like, um, thicker than it's not. <laughs> um, this is going to be disgusting, but I told this to my mom. When she asked me what it was like, I was like, well, I don't have first-hand experience with this. But I kind of understand now why some women spit. <laughs> because that's a nasty, nasty feeling in your mouth and throat. It's thicker than that, too, by the way. Sometimes when I spit... The force of the spit will come out really fast, but then it'll just like dangle and won't go nowhere. And you can spit and spit and spit and it'll just dangle and you got to take a towel and wipe it off. I'd show you the toilet, but nah. There's spit. 
just in the last couple of minutes that I spit out of my mouth, just floating in there. Looks like icebergs in a toilet. But, um, anyways, the tube's out. I have no idea how I'm going to eat because I haven't really been able to eat food. But I kind of feel better already. The telltale sign will be one. So sometimes when I swallow, that too would shoot out of my nose and then go back in. So I knew it was like sticking with something back here. Something that moved, it would stick to. <clears throat> here, here's the, here's the uh, truth though. If I can swallow this and it not be as painful, it was worth taking that tube out. Seems to be an improvement. I'll do a video to catch everybody up eventually. <coughs> I sought put up the videos for a couple of reasons. The first being videos related to the cancer. The first being, I think week three, four, five, six, and seven during treatment, it got very hard to talk. It's pretty hard to talk now, and this is a huge improvement compared to two weeks ago. Hold on a minute, I got a cough again. But, uh, so it just got to be too hard to talk. That, that was a primary reason. Um, the other reason is, too, it got to be very difficult. I, I did some like pictures that showed what the radiation did in my skin. Uh, if you can think of like what nuclear radiation does to people, that's what radiation does to you too. And uh, I'll have a follow up video because this is going to be too long otherwise. I'm at 12 minutes now. And uh, I'll, I'll do a follow up video soon. So thanks for watching. God bless.